Now the third uh, function or role of management is coordinating. And coordinating simply means making sure departments work well with each other and have good communication. I've pointed out that every business organization have different departments and every department have their own roles to play in the organization. So the manager now has to make sure all these departments work together harmoniously to achieve the common objective of business. Now I'll give you an example. I know most of you are uh, uh, fans of sports and I'll specifically talk about football. Now when you talk about coordination in football, uh, we have various departments in football. Uh, we have the defense, we have the midfield, and we have the attack or the striking department. Now the main aim of the defense is to ensure that uh, the team does not concede goals. Or in simpler terms, it's to ensure that teams does not get scored. The defense is supposed to, I mean the midfield on the other hand is supposed to help the defense and also help to distribute the ball forward to the strikers. So in any football game, these three departments must coordinate to ensure the team does not get scored and the midfielders are able to forward the ball to the strikers to score because the aim is to win the match. That is what coordination is. Now, the fourth role of management is commanding. And what do we mean by commanding? Now, this is making sure the workers are keeping to targets and deadlines. Okay? When, ta when targets are set, when the aims or objectives are being set, the workers must ensure they are met. So it is the work of the managers to ensure this through commanding. Then finally, the other role of managers is to control, which is measuring and evaluating work of employees and verify if they are on target. So the managers are supposed to at every given time evaluate and measure the work that the employees are doing to verify if they are on course. Now, managers cannot obviously do everything. So, they often delegate tasks to employees, giving them authority to complete various tasks. So, managers are going to delegate. We already defined what delegation means. So they are going to delegate tasks to employees and give them authority to complete the various tasks. Now, however, if the employee does a bad job, okay, the manager must accept the responsibility for it. Why? Because that job belongs to the manager. So if they delegate it to a junior or a subordinate employee in the organization and the employee does a job, a bad job, then the manager must take responsibility for it. They must own the mistake that was done. Now, why is delegation important in business? Now, managers cannot do every job by themselves. Okay? They cannot be able to do everything by themselves. So they have to delegate. That is one. Two, managers can then measure the success of employees. Now, how do you measure the success of an employee? Give them some roles to do. Give them some tasks. If one worker does it perfectly, then you can measure how they do their work as opposed to another who does a bad job. So you are able to measure their success. And finally, the work becomes more interesting for the subordinate, which increases their motivation. Okay, they will feel motivated, and therefore they will do more. They feel, uh, they feel trusted, which is very important. Now, however, we'll note that 
There are some managers who do not delegate. They would rather do everything, even if they may not be able to do it on time. They don't delegate. And why is this? One reason is that they might be afraid the subordinates will fail and the manager wants to control everything. So they don't want to delegate because they fear the subordinate might fail or they might not do a good job and they want to control everything. Or two, another reason why some managers don't delegate is that they may feel threatened that the subordinate will do a better job than them. Okay? So it is not uh, entirely true that the manager might be better than the subordinate. So some feel threatened that the subordinate might do a better job than them. And class, that brings us to the end of the lesson. Uh, go through uh, the lesson, then write the notes at the end.